has times looking like he's going to go for submission, but then really doesn't because he doesn't do the things that, and I can't tell. He's a hard worker, explosive, does everything right. It's a good time. It is all over. His 10th win by submission. The winner by submission, John Sultan. And that was it. expected. Yep, stopped. Takedown number one. Now look how tenacious Salter is being with it. That's what separates great wrestlers from pretty good ones. That second and third effort for the takedown, he's still going for it. Salter, 2007, NAIA National Wrestling Champion. Also Abu Dhabi representative of the United States. He's gonna lose to somebody, you know. Sean Jason. Yeah. One uh, jujitsu genius in my opinion. A one hooker turning his back exactly where he doesn't want to be. Any one of them could end the fight now. Salter going hard for the rear naked. Six fight win streak for John Salter. Can he get it? It's, it's all over! Just like that, John Salter! Soon Another as, first round finish. As soon as this fight went to the ground, start your stopwatch. Salter, excellent submission game. He just showed it. By way of a rear naked choke, official time, one minute, 55 seconds into round number one. The winner by submission, and Salter. So I'm finishing in the first round. I'm not making mistakes in here, so I think I've set myself up as the number one guy. Strikes landed. Round number one, courtesy of CompuStrike. And a wipeout for John Salter, 45 to two. And look where we are in this fight, right back to the ground. Again, to reiterate, really a subplot. Jacoby said, I'm not going to worry about being taken down. I've got to open up my striking because if Salter takes me down, which he probably will, he can't keep me down, he can't submit me. I'm going to explode back up. 325 to go round two. Kobe to be effective against an opponent like Salter, he's got to keep it standing. And as he said, I've got to work from the outside. For me, this fight is about control and positioning. Ah, it's getting a little too high in the ride. He wants to stay further down the back of Jacoby, and that's what he does. Not really in a position to land a whole lot of punches from here. Kobe's looking for a stall that they're going to stand him up. I don't see that happening while Salter has a dominant position, unless he's really stalling. Herb Dean knows the difference. Salter showing his wrestling, now showing his jujitsu, gliding over the top of Jacoby. Great point, Jimmy, on Herb Dean, because he's very content in the work of John Salter. He knows what's going on. He does. Salter now all over Dustin Jacoby. Once again, both hooks in. Rear naked, he's got that it. That is tight, that's under the chin. Herb Dean taking a really close look, and there's the tap. A cool, calm, efficient victory for John Salter. Any moment in this fight, Salter on top, good hip pressure, dominant position, was able to get the rear naked choke, that arm underneath the chin. Too much pressure for Dustin Jacoby. Winner by submission, John Salter. Salter is circling both to his left and his right. Most left, he's oh, a nice shot. What a setup. Beautiful, 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 beautiful timing off the right hook. Grove trying desperately to defend the takedown. Unfortunately, finds himself on his back, although Grove very capable from his back. And he's around the guard. He immediately is not playing guard with Kendall Grove. Not a whole lot you can do when somebody's yeah. inside control like that. Exactly. And immediately Salter takes the back of Kendall Grove. And this is a guy who in between fights took the US Abu Dhabi trials. Most prestigious no-gi grappling tournament in the world. He's the American rep. That was in between fights. That's how good he is, going hard for the rear naked. That's impressive. Can't see how deep it is from here. Kendall's not in a good spot there, though. That's for certain. He is not. Now both hooks in. He's and it's over. Over. He's out. John Salter oh, wins his sixth straight and records his tenth of victory oh, via first round knockout or submission. Oh, look at the setup here. Fainted the right hook right into the double leg takedown. And the double leg, look at this, right around the guard. Doesn't allow Kendall Grove to use those long legs. He's inside control. 
And look at this transition. One hook in, and I'll let Meathead take the finish. You know, it was absolutely beautiful. It's a great setup. He was patient. He didn't rush anything. He just wanted to get his hands on him, go ahead and touch him. That's all he needed. As soon as he looked, he got on Kendall's hip. Everything was over from that point on. Zalter securing his sixth straight win via first round rear naked choke. The winner by submission, John Zalter. Yeah, he's a tough guy. I don't know if you guys know this, but he's pretty long, kind of tough to deal with. But uh, can we stop back to like I'm not the best 185er in Bellator now? I like how Salter's stalking him. Yep. Right there. Kenny goes to fire knee. Salter sees that timing and, and captures the leg. It's very hard in MMA to finish a single. You will see it. You will see Chris Weidman's do it. You'll see John Hendricks do it. But it's very rare. You kind of got to get to both legs. And I think that that's what Salter's best opportunity is going to be. Bring this left, uh, left arm wide like he's uh, looking to do. Get underneath the hips. And now I like that trip. Nice. I like that outside leg trip. Great scramble by Kenny. Great scramble by Salter. Salter needs to keep his hips to him, pop his hips, and start to redirect him towards the mat. Get him off the ground, though. And nice subtle inside trip. Nice easy move for John Salter. Very good. Salter reaches between his legs, starts to push that knee down. So many options. Salter looking to take the back, and he gets the hooks in quickly. And he has got that in deep. Went to full mount. Chitty turned over. Yes, yeah, Salter is deep. He's very deep here. Even if he doesn't come up to the chin, as fresh as he is, he can continue to squeeze. He's going to finish this. He lost a hook, but he's still very deep. He won't need it. He's deep enough right here. He, he can just keep the pressure as long as he doesn't get fatigue of his own arms from That's squeezing. It. John Salter has done it again. He has spoiled another party. Now watch this, Sean. There's actually three steps here. He gets the side control. He takes the, uh, the mount, and then he takes the back because Chitty turned over. Not a terrible strategy. A little risky by Chitty. Not a terrible strategy, but the problem is, is Salter was fresh. He was still dry. There was no slipperiness, and all Salter had to do was hold this position. It was only a matter of time. The winner by submission, John Salter. I got to keep proving myself to get back to that point. And uh, so right now, whoever they put in front of me, but if you go back to Italy, you know, I'll go again. A lot of success with that lead hand. And I think Halsey's hurt. I think he's rocked. And that's why he went for this opportunity to slow it down. Brandon Halsey's takedowns, 99 times out of 100, are offensive in nature. This was a defensive one. That's why it wasn't successful, wasn't able to set it up. This fight looks like a Saw remake. And when you remember that only one guy's cut, that's a stunning phenomenal one. amount of blood. One guy's cut. I literally was waiting just to double check to make sure Salter wasn't cut. There was so much of Halsey's blood on Nice takedown. Triangle. Trying to pass, he just made it tighter. Got it. Brandon Halsey felt the urgency, and it cost him the fight. Look here, though. Takedown, and watch the triangle. Wrist control, steps over it, beautiful triangle, locks it up, and watch Halsey try to pass to his right side. That just made the triangle tighter. Couldn't get it. Look at it here. As soon as Halsey puts pressure on that side, you can't get your opponent to break his legs. The winner by submission, John Salter. Uh, I hope we put on a good show. Strong guy. I knew I had to come out hard. Couldn't wait on him to start trying to impose his will.